Hey, Struggle Lions, in, uh, in this video we're going to demonstrate using the uh, Clearbit API uh, web service. So, hopefully you saw our video in the webinar which went in depth on this, but I'm just doing a couple examples here. So, this is the actual COM object that we create down here. Um, I'm opening the endpoint, so see the endpoint here, which is this URL, and um, I'm also reading in my token, so I don't have to show it here, but it's it's in any file, so I'm appending that um, here in my in in when you read the documentation. So if you come into here, you'll read up how to um, do authentication stuff. I'm passing it as a token via the uh, bearer key, um, but it uh, it's it's uh, so this is how they do it. So you put on the header set authorization and then set bearer space and then insert this is passing it as a variable, right? Really, just to make it a little more correct. Um, it works fine that way, but this is going to concatenate these two values together. So it passes the word bear, bearer space and then my token value. Um, and then it uh, sends a request and then it returns back and it's going to dump it into my output window down here with my little function I have. So the first one, this query string, what we're doing is we're passing key value pairs. Let me show you here if I do a message box on query string you'll see it it's concatenating putting the question mark domain equals the automator.com and then ampersand because that's the first one after the beginning limit equals 15 right so this would return up to 15 people um, and data about them from my site the automator.com so let me comment this back out I'm gonna save reload and run it and now it dumped in that looks like JSON Right, I can I can tell it's by looking at it. So hey, look, hey, here I am. I'm a technical operations manager. I have no idea where that came from. Um, and Kathy Griffin. Um, and let's. Uh, so so that was one call. Let's. Uh, th by the way, these calls, unless you pull back email address, I believe they're free. Um, I hope they're free. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to comment this out. I'm going to change this one to say, okay, let's look at GE. Let's pick up to 15 people that have a title of engineer. So I'm going to save this, reload it, and everything we should see title, I think in this case it's an exact match for title. Nope. And so here they had engineer in their title. Um, and you should see virtually everybody in this list had the word engineer in their title. But this got me um, up to, because I said limit it to 15. I think the max is 25. I don't remember. Um, but you'd have to parse this, of course, the, the JSON and get what you want. Um, so that's one example there. And notice the endpoint doesn't change, right, in my example here. Uh, I'm hitting the same endpoint. I'm just passing different parameters here. I'm going to stick with GE. I'm going to actually do, this is like a, a way to do the OR statement. So titles and then brackets. Um, software and then titles brackets marketing so this will be either software or marketing save reload run and now it should bring back people who have either either one software or marketing in their titles right so one API call and yet I was able to basically do an or um, so that did that and then the last one here so this is where we get into costing some money and so I'm gonna put in domain I'm gonna put it my domain and limit it to one return one value and set email to equal true. Um, I can get rid of this. And uh, and this way it's going to return one email address which I think I get a certain amount free per month so right here I'm not actually going to spend any money. I think it's like 15 a month. Um, I'm going to relearn it. Let's see what it pulls back. So here, here, here. Oh look there is my email address. They have it correct. So uh, that is how you can do it. I believe also they keep track if you've pulled this in the last, I think it's a month, it'll keep it cached for you and it doesn't charge you each time you do it. But that's an example of doing API calls with the uh, Clearbit API. You can find documentation here on it and I'll make this code available. Thanks.